Great greetings, everyone! Nat and JME here, and welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Today, we are going to be heading to the Kelp Forest. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Alright, let's head there. We are recording this only Monday morning. Here we are in the Kelp Forest, an interesting area with many sights to see. For those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Uh oh, look at that. There's some robots. It's Mr. Potato Head! Okay, there we go. He got the bomb one, and uh. Oh, poor Potato Head. I think his name is Fred or something. He looks like Potato Head. <laughs> you know, before that cut scene rudely interrupted me, I was saying good morning to everybody. Mm. We're recording this oh. on a Monday morning. Okay, just got hit by that one time appearing enemy. There's this leaf that hits you, and that's the only time it appears. So, yeah. So, yeah, recording this on Monday morning. Nat, guess what I had for breakfast this morning? You had cookies, right? I did have cookies. And why did I have cookies? Because right. I could. Alright. Did I get all the... Did I get all the shh tiki's? To all the people listening, though, I do not recommend cookies as a breakfast. The... It was not nutritious in the least. Oh no, I messed up on the sock. No. Uh, now I gotta die. That's great. That's a great way to mess up on the first Is sock. Is there another way to get the sock? I have to die so that way they all respawn. So there's no other way to get up there? Well, no, there was a sock. That you get when you hit all those monkey tiki's. Oh. Well, shh, tiki's is what they're called. But, uh. Come on. Yes, okay, I got up. Hey, I got, got up. up. Oh my gosh, I can't. Now, I had a lot of trouble doing this on a previous. What the heck? Okay. Um, I had a lot of trouble getting that on a previous recording that we tried to do of this. And guess what? I ended up getting that monkey one. Well, not monkey one, that bowling one over with. So, uh, I'm going to have to go back there, which is just so much fun. I'm going to have to die at some point. Because those tiki's don't respawn unless you die. This is Pop. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. But she's kind of creepy. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean the campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. We never actually see the ranger, so, yeah. I'll help you find the Mrs. Pop. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. Yep. Alright, so we should continue over this way. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, get it. Oh, oh man. We almost had to, uh, hit have to deal with the explosion. And uh, remember how I said that the Arf robot only appeared in the Mermelair, where I was incorrect because he appears here. Let's hit him with the cruise bubble. Oh, uh, well, I didn't get him on uh, one hit, but we got a row of these Thunder Tiki's, which should get him, and he, come, uh, he came over to me, but I got him back. There we go. Now we gotta go over here. Alright. Boom, there we go, we got a button. So. We hit that button. Nice. And then, that raises up some leaves that we can go on to uh, save the camper. And of course we get another leave that brings us back over there. 
So now let's change into Patrick and begin that part of the level. And um, I still haven't forgot about that bowling sh tiki sock, but I'm just... <clears throat> now i got a question for you. What? If I were playing this game for the first time, and I'd never watched anyone play it, yep. would I know that I've got to change into Patrick to do this? Oh, ah, ah. oh man. I almost died there because I thought that one was a bouncing leaf. But, um, well, when you go over here, you'll see that there is a watermelon. Yeah. And remember, only Patrick can pick up the watermelon. How would I know that, though? Because the game told you that in the first level. It did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. Of course you weren't. So now, playing as Patrick, bouncing off leaves, and holding things is going to be a main part of the mechanics of this level. Alright. I'm going to head over to this way. Wow, you can barely make that. Now this is probably one of the most difficult melon throws in the game. No, 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 no! What? Oh, what the? Why'd you ground pound? No, 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 no! Oh, oh, the, what the oh, heck? The, why does oh. my why does my controller stop? Why does the watermelon explode, explode and burst when he throws it like that far? Because it's not. Because it's only hitting the ground, oh. I guess. But guess what? All that work just to get one lousy camper. And I'm also not sure if they can hear you because you're not in anywhere near the microphone. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I was sitting back relaxing. Yep. Okay. So now... Let's see. The next place we gotta go to is over there. Oh, wait, but there's a... There's a freezy fruit over here. To, uh, there's quite a bit to do in this first area. So, yep, there's one sock over here. There we go, 67 socks, and uh, I still have to get that one other sock that I messed up on. And it's super annoying. Alright. But there's something over here. So I believe what we need to get over there is we need to go back up here. I believe that, yeah. Going over here. Ah. There we go. Brings us over this way. Alright, then we just hit the button right here, and it raises up the bouncy leaves. We gotta make a pretty tough jump. I'm not actually sure if you really have to do this with Patrick. I think you can do this with Spongebob, but I just decided to do it with Patrick because I was Patrick. Alright. Now we only really have two things left to do. Now I gotta die, so that way I can get that shh tiki sock that I messed up on. So... Yes, okay, I got it. Nice! But that's... What the heck? Why does the controller keep disconnect? Why does the controller keep disconnecting? Okay. Alright, now we got the sock. Now that sock's really annoying. Because they were the way they put the sh tiki's in a in a place where you move forward, you know, you move forward when you do the bubble bowl, and they put the sh tiki in such a weird place that you can barely move when you're up there because they it'll disappear. They put it too close to the ledge, so when you jump up, it's already going away, and it's just really annoying. And they put it on a hill-like area so the bubble ball can just fly up. And... Oh, 
just annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, no. Why'd you? No. Oh my gosh. That was so close, too. But thankfully, it's all over. And we got the golden spatula. And there's also a purple shiny object that I didn't get. <laughs> that I probably won't get. Good. Let's get it right now. I have to go. Oh, I have to do all that stuff with the melons with Patrick to get it back up there. Oh, never mind. All right. So next time on Balfour Bikini <laughs> Bottom, we will be heading to the Kelp Swamp. Even though I remember it being the Kelp Lake. That's weird. Everything's weird, especially Mrs. Puff. <laughs> <laughs>